Hey guys, it's Jen Neal, your Activities and Fitness Manager here at Sea Colony. We hope you're enjoying our videos and you guys are staying active and healthy during this time. Here's another one. Hey guys, it's Mike Pitts from Sea Colony again. Uh, as you can see, we're outside today. It's a beautiful day. Stand with me, it might get a little windy at times, but as you can see, I don't have an issue social distancing, so we're gonna work out outside today. We do a bunch of chest exercises and a couple triceps and a couple abs. So uh, stand with me and we'll have some fun. All right, set number one, we're gonna do just regular push-ups. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to do push-ups depending on your fitness level, okay? Number one, we come on down and we can do push-ups on our knees. Okay, we're gonna do 12 of everything, if you can hear me. Four right there. All right, now we can go up. Do four more. And if you're feeling really froggy, down and get a little ab into it. One, two, three, and last one, four. All right, now we're gonna jump over here to the picnic table and do some triceps. Again, there's two versions of the tricep that you can do for different variations or different levels. So if you don't have a if you don't have a, a picnic table, just grab a table or a bench or anything that you can get your hands on. First one we're gonna do is we're gonna do dips. Now the closer your feet are to your body, the actually the easier it is. So here is really easy, okay? So if you're not quite strong enough at your triceps, just pump them out here. Put your feet all the way out, they become much more challenging. 11. 12. All right, grab a little water after that. All right, guys, we're gonna continue with the chest theme today. So I got a band here, a red band. Find anywhere that you can tie it on, tie it off on. I, again, I'm using my picnic table, and we're gonna do chest flies. So I'm gonna show you a shot, a side view. Three, four, five, six. All right, now I'm gonna come right at you so you can see what it looks like this way. Two, three, four, five, and last one, six. Great job. All right, so that's gonna wrap up uh, set, uh, set number one, and we're gonna move on again. So we're starting all over again with our push-ups. Come right back to wherever you're comfortable. Again, on your knees is gonna be easier. So we're down, one, two, three, four, five, six, up, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Nice job. Back to the triceps. Just catch your breath if you need to. Take a quick little rest in between. And we're going right to our triceps. Have a seat. Again, feet in, really easy. Two, three, six. Feet out, much more difficult. Two, three, four, five and that's 12. Again, great job. I'm feeling really good right now. Good time to catch a break, grab some water, catch your breath. All right guys, back to the fly. So we're gonna find a place to anchor this band again. Again, all we're gonna do is pretend that we're hugging someone. So again, six this way. Three, four, five, last one. Six, now I'm gonna come straight at you for the next six. Turn just a little, nice base. Notice how my feet, one's in front of the other. It's a nice base here. And now we're going. Two, three, four, five, six. Nice job. All right, done with that. Set two, finished, moving on. Here we go to set three. Back to your push-ups. Remember, down on your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, up, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, guys, good time to take a break, grab some water. Now we're going right to the triceps. Again, back to the table, the bench, whatever you may have, okay? The feet out for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kick them all the way out now. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, now we're gonna set up those flies again. Six and six, okay? Here we go. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna face you. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Nice job. That is the first third set, the first round, and we are gonna take another little break, grab some water, catch your breath, because we're gonna start again. All right, guys, round two, set one. We're gonna work on those triceps and the chest more, okay? I don't have dumbbells with me today, but I do have a kettlebell, okay? If you don't have, if you don't have a kettlebell, but you have dumbbells, that's even better. So we're gonna lie on the ground. See, I'm gonna jump down here for you. I like to put my feet flat, you're gonna grab your kettlebell and just do a chest press, okay? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, again, if you have dumbbells, your movement's gonna look like this, okay? Let your elbows touch the ground and then up, all right? Again, I don't have them today. Next movement, we're gonna do legs straight. We're gonna do some abs. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, seven, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Nice job. Come on up. All right, guys, we're going to work on some squats now. Work on that booty. Work on all the big power muscles through your legs. I'm going to grab a kettlebell to first to start. Show you two different ways to do it. Number one, have a seat. Hold your kettlebell. Stand. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. Six. Now I'm going to drop the kettlebell, get it out of here, and show you what it would look like if you're just having a regular seat. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. Six. Great job. Set number one done. Exercise number two round. Take a break, grab some water. All right, guys, finish up that last sip. All right, catch your breath. So we're gonna hit the ground again. I'm gonna use my kettlebell. I'm also gonna add a little flare to it this time and show you how to do it with a band. So the assumption is that you have a band because we did flies with them and I don't have dumbbells again. So I'm gonna show you six and six this time, okay? So the first six I'm gonna do with my kettlebell. Lie down, nice comfortable position. Not on concrete, hopefully. Five. All right, halfway through there. So now I'm going to show you what I want with the band. Take the band and tie a knot in it. Make it a little shorter. Add some resistance. Okay, you're going to flip it behind you. Lay on it to lock it in and do your chest press. Two, three, four, five, and last one, six. All right, kick that guy out of here. Now let's go to those abs, okay? Here we go, hands underneath your butt. Kind of protect yourself a little bit. One. Six, halfway there. Last one. Done, nice job. Come on up. Let's go right back over here to our squats, okay? This time I'm gonna do squats without a kettlebell. We're gonna have a seat and do the first six, and then stand up and do a traditional so uh, squat for the second six. Here we go. One, feel this quads burn right away. Two, three, four, five, Six. All right, I'm gonna step out and do our last six. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and last but not least, 
12. There you go. Again, second round, second set. Take a break, grab some water. All right, last sip. Here we go. Put your water down, catch your breath. Start all over again. Chest first, okay? So I'm going to grab my kettlebell for six and then show you the band again for six for the variation. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six. Put that out of the way. Let's grab our band here. Again, we tied it off to make it shorter to add some resistance. Go right behind you, lay down on it, make sure you're nice and locked in to keep yourself secure. Two and protected. Three, four, five, six. Nice job. Finish with chest for the day. Three chest on with no equipment, that's pretty good. All right, here we go, right back to those abs. One, two, halfway. Last one. Nice job. Abs should be burning a little bit right now. All right, last but not least, we're going back out to our squats. So I'm gonna do them with and without the kettlebell. Starting off, just a regular squat. We're gonna have a seat and come on up. That's kind of the easier version. Also helps with balance, okay? You know you're not gonna fall over. Two. Three. Four. Five, last one, six. All right, I'm gonna move out. Traditional squat with a dumbbell hanging this time, or a kettlebell hanging this time. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, last one, six. Guys, great job, great workout. Catch your breath, grab some water, and we're gonna stretch next. All right, guys, time to stretch. Great day today. We got three chest in, one powerful leg movement, an ab, and a tricep. Without any equipment, that's a quality day, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on stretching your chest. So we wanna open you up just like this, okay? The ideal situation is for you to have a door jam, something you can kind of lean through, okay? So you're gonna kind of hang just like this for 30 seconds. If you don't have anything, just open up nice and wide. You'll still feel this chest muscle stretch, okay? Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. 10 more seconds or so. Feeling really, really nice right now, okay? This is awesome, this is a really good stretch. Good, take it in, kind of loosen your chest up a little bit. Now we're gonna stretch your your, uh, your triceps. So we're gonna come across your arm, keep this arm, your right arm nice and straight, and just pull it back towards you. Feel that tricep, this big muscle in the back of your arm stretch. We're gonna hang, hang here for 20 or 30 seconds. Feels really nice, should be getting nice and loose on me. All right, shake that one out, switch over to the opposite. Same movement here, keep that arm nice and straight. All right, another quick tricep stretch. We're gonna take it and drive it back behind us. Grab the elbow and push down. That is a really nice stretch. You'll feel that instantaneously. 10, 15 seconds on this guy. It's a nice stretch for the triceps, 25, 35 seconds, good to go. Good, grab the other side, drive it down. All right, shake those guys out. Now we're gonna work on your quad quadriceps. So we're gonna do a runner stretch, okay? Grab your toe, keep your knees together, stretch those quadriceps, okay? The group of four muscles that run down the front of your leg. Wind is blowing me a little bit right now. All right, notice how my knees are together, okay? If they're out here, you're not doing anything. You really gotta work on getting those knees together. All right, I'll give you a side view, what the stretch looks like. There we go. Hang out there for 20 seconds. Nice quadricep stretch again. Feeling really, really good. Shake that out. Switch over. Good. Just hang out there. If you need something to lean on, grab a chair. 
grab a stool, grab a counter, whatever works. All right. Last but certainly not least, we're gonna work those hamstrings. So we're gonna come straight down. If you bend your toes slightly, you'll definitely get to your, or if you bend your knees slightly, you'll get to your toes. Feel your quads, feel your hamstrings, feel your calves. Feel those nice movement. Big deep breath. Come on up, stretch out again. Great job today, guys. Again, send me an email, uh, send us a line on Facebook, Instagram, whatever you need. If you have questions, comments, concerns, want to see a movement, that's what we're here for. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you.